Princess Eugenie and Zara Tyndall held a joint christening of their sons on Sunday which saw the Queen, who has been absent from duties due to her health, make an appearance. But the unusual decision to have a joint event as many young royals typically have separate celebrations could have been spurred on by the Queen's health as the royal family may have wished to simply get on with it. Royal editor and commentator Robert Jobson told Australian TV he believes the precedent-breaking decision may have had the Queen in mind as the family would want her there but acknowledged her time was limited. Mr Jobson appeared on Sunrise to discuss the weekend christening and was asked for his thoughts on the out-of-the-ordinary celebration. He told Australian TV, well, it's never happened before, I suppose you get two for the price of one. They try to get as much out for the Queen. I suppose what it was, the Queen wouldn't want to pick a favorite grandchild so if they want the Queen to be there they'll have to just get on with it. And put them together which makes total sense to be because her time is limited. Mr Jobson was also asked why it was not a triple christening as rumors continue to circle over whether Prince Harry and Meghan's daughter Lilibet would came to the UK for hers. The royal expert replied, it's a difficult one to answer. I can't see the baptism of Lilibet happening in the UK, it's a bit of a shame. But you know, they've made their beds and they lie in it and that's the way they're going to carry on. The Queen attended the joint ceremony which was held at the Royal Lodge in Windsor Great Park, Berkshire. Photographers managed to snap the Queen in the back of her transport wearing a light green outfit. The Queen was forced to pull out of several major engagements over the past few weeks due to health concerns. Alarm bells rang after the Queen pulled out of a trip to Northern Ireland before it was revealed she spent the night in hospital. The Queen also pulled out of COP26 and Remembrance Sunday services with the latter due to a back sprain, according to Buckingham Palace. Prince Charles gave an update on his mother during his tour of Jordan and Egypt and told Sky News, she's all right, thank you very much. Once you get to 95, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. It's bad enough at 73. However, the palace also seemed eager to dispel any concerns of the monarch and published a video of the Queen meeting with General Sir Nick Carter as he retires as head of the armed forces. The Queen shook hands and conversed with Sir Nick about his retirement, 